Hello, and welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms. Eight Princes, the first chapter pack DLC, is now available, which brings a whole new campaign with eight new faction leaders. However, there's also plenty coming to the base game as well, even if you didn't buy the DLC. Eight Princes adds 17 new armor variations for the generic generals, for example, so those characters will start to look a lot more distinct. But today we're going to be taking a look at the four new units that have been added to the base game. Now these are all available in both the Eight Princes campaign and the base campaign, whether you bought the DLC or not. First up are the Cataphracts. More heavily armoured than any cavalry unit that existed in the base game, they may not be as fast, but they'll smash through most enemy formations with ease. Obviously you still shouldn't charge them directly into spears, particularly higher tier spear units, but they will take less damage if you do compared to other cavalry, thanks to all that armour. In the base game, any vanguard character can recruit cataphracts once you research shock warfare on the tech tree. Of course, they are quite costly. Now, Cataphracts certainly put a great new tool in the arsenal of players who love cavalry heavy armies, but if you're not happy with just these, then there is another option, Heavy Cataphracts. These armoured juggernauts are almost unstoppable, and certainly number among the most powerful units in the game. To get these, you'll need the Bardic Mounts technology, plus only vanguards who reach level 6 will be able to recruit them, so they are going to be something of a mid to late tier unit. However, if you're worried about all these new armoured cavalry being overpowered, don't worry, there are tools to deal with them, and the new mounted crossbows are an excellent option. This new unit will be available to your strategists once you have the Divine Manipulation of Threads technology. They're fast, just like mounted archers, but their crossbows are great for punching through armour. As a result, they're an excellent anti-cataphract option, provided you have the space to skirmish. They're also great at dealing with armoured infantry, so a good counter to something like Yuan Shao's unique G infantry, or other heavy anti-cavalry options. Finally, Eight Princes adds in another ranged cavalry option, Heavy Mounted Archers. This unit will require the Swiftness is the Key in War technology to unlock, and even then, only strategists of level 6 and higher will be able to recruit them. However, they are an excellent tool for cavalry armies, especially if you're facing a bow-heavy army or ranged units on city walls. All that extra armour makes them much more resilient than standard mounted archers, who can get quickly picked apart by bowfire if you're not careful. Of course, it also makes them slightly better in melee combat. Once the mounted archers run out of ammunition, you can charge them in and they'll last a bit longer than a standard mounted archer unit. All four of these new units are now available in Total War Three Kingdoms as part of update 1.2.0, so even if you didn't get the Eight Princess DLC, they'll be available for you to try out. It might be worth starting a new campaign with someone like Gong Sun Zan or Ma Tong, now that they have four new cavalry units to make use of. Thanks for watching, please do like, subscribe and all that, but also stay tuned on the channel as we'll also be taking a look at the game's new dynasty mode very soon.